And the number on the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. Hey! I'm your substitute teacher. Have some respect. Who spit the spit wad? No one spit a spit wad, Professor Pie, but I spit a seed. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be? Fine. You twerps better brace yourself for the most boring fraction lecture you've ever- oh! Oh! Whoa! Professor Pi just got denominated! <laughs> uh, class, you will notice that the knife removed exactly one-sixth of my body. Um, did Professor Pi just walk into the whiteboard? Oh no, I think I may have just lost my depth perception. Let's find out for sure. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, it's his depth perception. All right. Despite my debilitating injury, math class will continue as planned and as boring as ever. Ah, oh, man! Why couldn't the knife have taken his mouth instead? <laughs> <laughs> the next student who so much as makes a peep is going to earn a one-way ticket to the principal's... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ugh, that wasn't very slice. <laughs> so, what do you think Pi lost this time? Hopefully it took away the part of his brain that makes him so boring. <laughs> Actually, I believe it removed the part of my brain that holds short-term memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot I lost my depth perception. Could this possibly get any worse? Mm, I bet it could. Oh, how? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Yeah, what's that? Knife. Ah, uh, no, no, it's taking the left side of my brain, the logical side. You don't need that. Just look at me. Na, 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 na. All right, the pain has subsided. Now let's do some math, minus the logic. This should be interesting. The number on the bottom of the fraction is called the denoptoderp. Now if we add five plus seven bananas, we get the color purple. Huh? I finally understand math, yay! Now, are there any questions for me? I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Pi? Who's Professor Pi? All right, your short-term memory thing. Um, I mean, Batman? Who's Batman? Uh, you are. Oh, I am! I forgot! Yes, what is your question? Uh, it's more of a comment, really. Well, phrase it as a question, then. Uh, okay. Knife? Ah, my other eye! Whoa! Professor Pi really got blindsided! <laughs> Everyone settle down! Class will continue as planned. I am Batman. Seriously, dude? Like half your face is gone. Incorrect. Exactly two thirds of my face is gone. Now. Oh! <laughs> All right, back to it. If I add five plus seven man bats, how many banana is the purple you've denerped to burp? Correct. Huh? This is elementary stuff here, folks. Six banana men divided by Amanda Bynes gives us an answer of one bajillion fart burgers. What? Now, who wants to try an equation on the block? Ah, ah! 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 <laughs> well, I think the knife got some of his tongue this time. Finally, Professor Pye's speaking my language. <laughs> Orange, I think he's actually trying to say something. Let him speak! No, 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 no. Ah! 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 Uh, math is confusing. Agreed! I pick orange. Alright! Basketball's my jam, yo! <laughs> oh man! I'm gonna get picked last again! I just know it! If I were picking teams, I'd pick you first, Midget Apple! <laughs> yeah! And your team would lose! Whoa, 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 who's the new guy? I pick him! Move, pipsqueak! <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna like this new guy! Great! Now shut up and pass the rock! Rock? Stupid apple! You don't play basketball with a rock! Why don't I know it? Oh yeah? Then riddle me this! How are you gonna play basketball without a basketball? <laughs> I'm proud again! I can't wait to get on the road again! I heard his parents kicked him out of the tree. Shh, here he comes. All right, losers, everybody hand over your lunch money. Ow, we don't have hands. <laughs> A wise guy, eh? You won't be laughing after I tie your shoelaces together. Ow, he doesn't have feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough being a bully when nobody has any limbs. I got it. <laughs> 
I'll give you a swirly. A swirly? I love ice cream. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what? No, it's when I put your head in the toilet and flush. Come on, everybody knows that. True, I know from experience. <laughs> For reals? Yeah, apparently I was sitting on Bad Apple's swing. Which swing is Bad Apple's swing? Whichever swing Bad Apple wants it to be, Pipsqueak. <laughs> okay, guys, we need to do something about the new kid. <laughs> we tried being nice to him. Worth a shot. Do your worst, Marshmallow. Hey! Excuse me, Bad Apple. It looks like you need a friend to play on the teeter totter. Yeah, actually, that that would be nice. Hooray! See, not so Bad Apple. Isn't it nice to be? Nice? <laughs> Happy landing, shrimpy! What the? Marshmallow can fly? Why am I always the last to know things? Hey, Pear, you're standing on my grass. What? That's my grass. Move! This isn't your grass. This is the school's grass. Anyone can stand Get here. off my grass! It's not your grass! That's it. Eat grass. Eat it. You love it. What? Eat what? the grass, what? Pear. Orange! Little help here, please. Hey! Hey, Fat Apple! Hey! Looks like Loudmouth wants to lick some grass, too. Nah, I prefer my eyeballs. That's it. Lick the grass, Geek. Lick it. You love it. This tastes delicious! No, it doesn't. It tastes like grass. Nah, uh It tastes like candy! No, it doesn't. D does it? Hey, look! Orange is making Bad Apple lick the grass! <laughs> what? No, I... a little red there, Apple. <laughs> you guys are mean. I'm gonna tell on you. Who are you gonna tell? Teacher? Yeah, I am gonna tell the teacher. No! Teacher! Huh? Ah! Don't eat me! <laughs> Whoa! This new kid's really getting chewed out. <laughs> I'm sorry, too soon? Hi, everyone. It's another episode of How To With Pear. And Blorange. I messed that line up. Yeah. Let's take it again. Okay. It's another episode of How To with Pear and Orangutan! <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's with me today? I have no idea. <laughs> it's another episode of How To with Pear and Orange! Oh! I think we got it. I said my name right. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care. We're moving on. Woohoo! I was just good enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, this week, Philippe wants to know how to get ready for school. Philippe, you came to the right place for school advice because we got lots of class. <laughs> wow. All right, step one for getting ready for school in the morning. Put your alarm clock on the other side of your room. That way you have to get out of bed to turn it off. It also helps if your alarm is loud and annoying sounding. True. Eh, eh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, that's a good alarm clock sound. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> that's another winner. <laughs> okay, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Orange. Oh, that's a good one too. Orange. <laughs> Orange. I was not suggesting an alarm noise. I was not suggesting an alarm noise. I was not suggesting an alarm noise. Ah, stop. <laughs> Well, for now. Ugh. Step two, multitask. You can get ready for school way faster by doing little things at the same time, like using mouthwash while you do your hair. Or tying both shoes at the same time. Yeah, dude, that's basically impossible. Oh, well, I wouldn't know because I don't have hands. <laughs> Step three, be sure to eat breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. And don't forget to multitask. Brush your teeth and eat breakfast at the same time by eating toothpaste. Dude, no. Or eat breakfast in the shower to save tons of time. <laughs> uh, you really think that's good advice, dude? Why not? I always eat sake waffles. I love them. <laughs> you know how to save even more time? How? Invent a machine that does all your morning tasks at once. Like I did. Well, okay, that does not look safe. Why the heck is there TNT at the end of it? Relax, Pear. That's there to catapult you to school super fast. That way you don't have to take the super slow school bus. See? <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, I'm glad that TNT wasn't to blow the video up. <laughs> of course not. That TNT is there to blow the video up. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wow! I can't believe you found our old yearbook from middle school, Orange! This is so neat over um, am I alone in thinking that revisiting the past is totally not Neato Burrito? Yeah, middle school is a really awkward time for everyone, and I'd prefer to forget it. I mean, not even Marshmallow's excited. I like yearbooks! Nah. Ah. <laughs> Check out Grapefruit's weak attempt at a mustache! Hey, for middle school, that mustache wasn't half bad! Wow! Well, I'd forgotten Marshmallow wore headgear! <laughs> And who's the girl with pear? That's Liz and her family moved away to Michigan and it crushed my
my heart into a zillion pieces! <laughs> Whoa! Well, I think we might have opened a real can of worms here. Can of worms? Say, wasn't that Grapefruit's first girlfriend? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, your book time is over. Give me that! I don't know what you guys are talking about. Middle school is the best! I was at the top of my game. See? Where are you? I don't see you. Right there, in the middle. Don't you remember? Well, I was the tallest kid in seventh grade. Oh, yeah. That was right before everyone else hit their growth spurts. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Those were the days. They assigned me a top locker and everything. <sighs> I miss middle school, you guys. Well, I was voted most likely to play in the NBA. I was voted most likely to say yay. I was voted most likely to succeed. I just remembered that. <laughs> oh boy, I'm having a real existential moment right now. What have I done with my life? What were you voted, Orange? Most likely to prank Vice Principal Plum. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, I delivered. See? Oh yeah, there's the time you put his hairpiece on the ceiling with super glue. <laughs> oh, and I remember this, the time you trapped him inside a vending machine. How'd you even do that, Orange? It's incredible! I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I was pretty darn good at pranks back in the day. <laughs> All right, let's see what pair was voted. Most likely to marry Liz. Should not have brought that up. Say, where is Pear? He's over there, listening to Lincoln Park and writing poetry. She moved away right before the spring fling dance. I never got to say goodbye. Probably time to put the yearbook away. Let's burn the yearbook so we never revisit it again! <laughs> or we could find Liz on Fruit Book and orchestrate a long overdue reunion with Bear! That sounds like a horrible idea. Agreed. Oh, well, what if I already did that and she's on her way right? Pear? Liz? Oh no! It's been a while. You look great. You too! I'm sorry we moved away so suddenly. It's, it's okay. I hear Michigan is nice. Oh no! There are a lot of things to talk about already! Whoa! This is even more awkward than middle school was! <laughs> Wait! This is my chance! Maybe I can help them fall in love and finally do something important with my life! Boy, how about this weather we're having, huh? Totally. Totes. Totes my goats. Totes. Huh? Go for it, buddy! <laughs> oh, uh, um, Liz? May I have this dance? <laughs> you may. Hold up. Let's leave some room, lovebirds. Vice, Vice Principal, Principal Plum? Plum? Yeah. Saw your little Facebook post and figured you kids would need a chaperone. Now where's Orange? Never got a chance to thank him for all the years of torture he put me through. Orange? Um, I think he's over there. Where? Um, I saw him go into that vending machine over there. Finally. <laughs> I've got him. Huh? So that's how it happened! Oh, I can't believe I fell for this again! Let me out! Let me out! Cool dance! Everybody do the vice principal plum! <laughs> Stem. This week's emoji rap comes from Jack Stuff. Rap about the first day of school. Ooh, emoji rap, go! Can't keep a straight face cause summer's ending and I'm not too happy about going back to school and my cry. So you can see my blank stare and I wonder what's up because I'm super sad, sad that my rat's almost done. For three months I've been chipper going swimming with the book. Getting sun, sticking my tongue on it, the bookworm's all bitter. Cause they're stuck inside wild mouth laughing and playing. They're sad, I'm happy, they're sadder and flatter.
a splash to be a crime I'll be shouting hey, amen hey, When summer's back again hey, yeah. Welcome back, Fruit Loopers Today we're counting down top five ways to get out of your homework Woohoo! This one sounds educational. Where there's a why, there's a way all right, class, please pass your science homework forward. Um, I have a question. Yes, Orange? Why? Well, because I need to grade it. Why? To make sure you learned about alternating current. Why? Because it's different from direct current. Why? Because it alternates. Why? Because! Yeah! Duped again! Get it together, Broccoli! Assuming you've done your science homework, you might be smart enough to invent a time machine. Assignments to the front, kids. Smell you later, guys. I'm on summer vacation. Orange, it's November. Whoa! Ah, now that's more like it. If homework is getting you down, stand up to the man. Pass your assignments forward, everyone. No. Excuse me? Fellow students, for too long we've been oppressed by these assignments and rules. The time is now. Rise up, my classmates. Rise up! Viva la revolution! Wait, what? Mm, get it together, Broccoli. If you don't have your homework done, you can always fake amnesia. Where's your homework, Orange? Um, I forgot to do my assignment because I have amnesia. If you really have amnesia, let's see the note from your doctor. How am I supposed to remember where I put that? I have amnesia! That's... That's a good point. Oh, oh, I have amnesia too! Woohoo! And if all else fails, the number one way to get out of doing your homework is a classic. Find a hungry dog! Where's your assignment, Orange? Sorry, Teach, but my dog eats all kinds of stuff. Come on! The dog ate your homework? That's the oldest one in the book. Well, if you don't believe me, you can just ask her. Cuddles! Huh? Ah! Yeah! Don't forget, the Bayside High's homecoming dance is this weekend. If you haven't asked someone, better do it right now. Good idea. Will you go with me? Whoa! I don't even know you. Ah, oh, man. Thanks a lot, Sissy Spano. <laughs> Are you going to the dance, Screech? I'm no good at dancing. I got no left feet. <laughs> oh, Screech. Why does everyone keep calling me Screech? My name is Apple. It's because of your voice, Screech. Yeah! That's what you sound like. It is not. Yeah! That's all I hear when you talk. <laughs> yeah! I bet you're going to the dance. Aren't you, Zach Oris? Well, only if a certain someone says yes. Oh, there she is. With... Him. Usually I like to wash my post-workout protein shake down with another protein shake. It gives me the strength I need to down a third protein shake. Hey, Zach. Time out. So I really, really, really want to ask Kelly Compassion of the dance, but I have no clue how to do it. The new guy, AC Graper, is all over. Time in. How about you, Kelly? Has anyone asked you to the homecoming dance yet? Not yet, but I'm hoping. Don't worry. I'm sure someone will ask you very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, students. We're all behaving, I assume. <laughs> you know it, Mr. Bell Pepper. Oh, Mr. Graper. <laughs> Could I have a word with you? Nice. Maybe he got detention and can't go to the dance. Not quite, Jack. <laughs> Mr. Bell Pepper's letting me into Kelly Capassion's locker. I'm gonna decorate it and ask her to homecoming. Later, suckers. Aw, oh, man. Why didn't I think of that? Time out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I freeze time to fart sometimes. So what? Time in. Zach, you have to figure out a way to ask Kelly Compassion to the homecoming before she opens her locker. Yeah, otherwise she might go with AC Graper. Seriously, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I heard. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Well, I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go grab my algebra book for my locker. Wait, no. Huh? Well, why not? B because, um, algebra class is canceled. It is? Cool. Well, I guess I'll go stash my algebra homework in my locker. Wait, you can't you can't do that because um they, they reset all the locker combinations. Well, to what? Uh, um to zero zero zero. Oh, cool. So I can just use that combination. Smooth move, Zach! Wait! Don't go open your locker! Why not? Uh, because I put a live squirrel in there. Oh no! I should go let it out! No! It's a murderous squirrel! <gasps> oh my! Yeah, yeah, that that's 
that's it. It's a fanatical, crazy, murderous squirrel. Oh dear, Mr. Bell Pepper, did you hear? There are murderous squirrels in the school. Huh, there are? This is the worst nightmare as a principal! Evacuate! Pull the fire alarm! Um, Mr. Bell Pepper? Bar the doors! Keep your distance from any and all acorns! I repeat, any and all acorns! What kind of an acorn? And you'll be the first to feel the squirrel's wrath! <laughs> Mr. Bell Pepper! Stop! There's no squirrel! Haha, <laughs> what did Screech just screech at me now? <laughs> There's no squirrel, Mr. Bell Pepper. It's a lie I told that spun out of control. <laughs> a lie? But why? Because. Well, I wanted to ask Kelly Capashian to homecoming before A.C. Graper did. I see. Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. Is that true, Zach? You want to go to homecoming with me? <gasps> of course it's true. I'd love to go with you. Woohoo! Oh, man. Be strong, A.C. Be strong. Harness the strength of a dozen protein shakes. All right. I'm going to homecoming with Kelly Capashian. How <laughs> are you now? Because it's going to be tough to attend the homecoming dance while you're in detention. What? <laughs> well, this is what you get for lying, Zach. Because of you, we just pulled like 10 fire alarms and called the police. <sighs> I guess I see your point. And you do well to remember it. If you take someone to a dance, just ask them. You don't need to make up a lie about something ridiculous like a... Crazy, fanatical, murderous squirrel? Exactly. No! Crazy, fanatical, murderous squirrel! <laughs> Bookworms assemble! Wow, I just gotta say, I am so excited for today's episode. I don't know exactly what it's all about, but Orange tells me it's school related. Yep, it sure is. All right, so what's the prompt? How to study for a test? How to get straight A's? Close. Today we're gonna show you how to escape from school. <laughs> how to escape from school? Yep, so get out your pencils and take some notes, folks, because we're about to school y'all and how to ditch school. <laughs> no, this is not what I signed up for. Step one, distract your teacher so you can make your getaway. <laughs> yeah, everyone, ignore the words coming out of Orange's mouth. School is important. You should not play hooky. <laughs> a spit rod always works pretty good. <laughs> ah! Ooh, or you could let the class hamster out of its cage. That's a classic too. Yeah! That's it. I'm cutting this video short. This is supposed to be a positive, family-friendly show, and we cannot. <laughs> wow, looks like Pear's a bit preoccupied. <laughs> Let's resume. When your teacher looks away, that's when you move on to step two. Escape through the intricate network of underground tunnels you meticulously designed and secretly dug over the course of several years. Um, I'm sorry. What? Did the hamster nibble your ears off or something? I said, escape through the intricate network of underground tunnels you meticulously designed and secretly dug over the course of several years. No, I heard that part. What I don't understand is how? How do you design and dig an intricate network of tunnels? Easy. You just whip up some blueprints, make up some calculations, do some math, apply some physics. Well, okay, how? You don't know physics. You ditched school, remember? Oh, wow. Good point. Yeah, I know. Oh, you can just hire an engineer to make the blueprints using the money you earned at your job. What job? You don't have a job because you didn't go to school, remember? Oh, wow. Well, this is a doozy. Oh, okay, okay, we're starting over. Step one, stay in school for several years and learn all the math and science you'll need in order to dig a series of escape tunnels. <laughs> did you hear my evil laugh, Pear? Yeah, I did, Orange. Very evil plan you got there. And then step two, after you've graduated and received your diploma, escape through the tunnels. <laughs> yeah, for once I think we agree on the steps, Orange. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit that notification. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't gotten to step three. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was a step three. Yeah, huh? And it's super important. Step three, now that you're done in school, do whatever you love and have an absolute blast. You know, that's actually not bad advice. Y'all, wow. I should have seen that coming. Blast! <laughs>